Welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm here in the pandemic lockdown with my beer stash. Keep on going. Now this beer I've had in my stash quite some time. Uh, over a year. Uh, but it's one of these ones that doesn't really go off. Uh, the, the best four day is not gone. But I bought it in America. I bought it in California. January 2019 I think. And it's actually from Canada. Uh it is first brewed 1993. It's from Uni Brew, and it's it's eight percent, and it is Mordite. And here it is. So there's a lot to talk about with the bottle. Uh, there we go. Best before the third of the eighth, 2021. So we're all good. Um, so that one's been all right sitting in my stash. So let's crack this open and uh, see what see what's cooking. We've got a nice chalice glass here from my lover bonds one. Mm, nice silver foil there. I've never had this beer before. I've reviewed one of their beers so far, which was the Blanche de Chambly, which was very nice. So I've got high hopes for this one. Lovely. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the bottle first. Um, so all this nice silver wrapping here which is nice it always has a level of uh, sophistication to a bottle i think uh the best four data as i alluded to is mordite belgian style double a double ale okay interesting and it's a picture of some lumberjacks what appears to in a canoe flying through the sky with a picture of the devil uh hopefully that's the description of why that is case is in the book but that's bizarre eight percent ale brewed with spices buttery fermented Okay, well, there wasn't... Oh, there was a bit of gunk at the bottom. Okay. Oh, well, well, too late now. Uh, and there's nothing else on the back. But that is... It says, Products of Canada. Uh, Quebec. Okay. Cool. Uh, tasting notes. Expect a full nose from this ale with ample notes of coriander, allspice and other spices, a rich, dryish and faintly earthy mix of chocolate, citrus, red fruit and cinnamon spice in the body. Right, so, light head on it. It's kind of a reddish colour. Um, I think we'll go for the smell. Gosh, it does smell, it smells boozy. So we're going to see what it's going to taste like. So cheers. Oh, that's most pleasant. That is very nice. It did not... I was expecting quite a muddy... Like a, something that's going to hit me down the throat a bit. But no, very crisp. Very nice. Like a really nice kind of spicy red ale almost. Mm, this is lovely. Belgian style, but clearly still North American. That is very nice indeed. Uh, I'm enjoying that. It's, it's, I'm getting a bit of booze at the back of the throat, but that is a very pleasant drink. I'm, I'm enjoying the Christmas of it um, from you know, the, the sort of the carbonation, which is very pleasant. Um, it says here, in the 19, early 1990s, when craft beer was still a bit of a curiosity, it was a brave entrepreneur who decorated the label of his brewery second brand, with a picture of a canoe flying through a fire red sky while the devil grinned below. Braver still was a man who named such a beer Mordite, which means damned in French, apparently. There we go. Uh, his first brew was Blanche de Chambly, which we've reviewed before on, on this channel. Um, it says the name and graphics were lifted from a well-known uh, Quebec fable of a group of canoeing lumberjacks Getting in trouble with the devil. Um, it's remained a flagship brand for the Quebec brewery ever since. Uh, although Mordite is often referred to as a Belgian-style beer, it would arguably be better dubbed a Belgian-inspired ale, since its idiosyncratic, spicing, well-promoted, food-friendliness and use of Quebec law positions it firmly as a product of its home province. Well, yeah, I'd say that's the case. wouldn't want loads of this it is um it's kind of i'm feeling the booze course through me a little bit so it's kind of a little bit heavy going in that way 
But it is very, very nice. And I've got one more I've got one more beer by these guys. I think I've got, if I remember correctly, they've got four beers in the book. So I don't know what's going on. Some sort of uh, shenanigans, backdoor deals with Unibrew. Yeah, four books. Um, uh, the f five, five beers. The Blanche de Chambly, uh, one which is an apple beer, which I haven't got. Mordite, which is this. Terrible, which we've already reviewed as well. That was with um, Quino, Chris McLennan. And Three Pistols, or Trois Pistols, which is the next beer I'm going to review, probably. It's in the fridge. See how we get on. Uh, but this is very nice. Um, I chose this one. There was, there was this one, or the Three Pistols. The Three Pistols, if I recall from the book, uh, is 1% higher. Uh, I think that's a dark beer. Right. Well, this beer is, is very nice. Um, it's... I sort of go back to the flavour. It's kind of kind of a bit almost like fruity, fruity red ale with throat booze, if that makes sense, um, and kind of spiciness. Uh, I'm getting the coriander now, actually, but only lightly. It's more kind of um, clovey. But good, you know, I quite like it. It's um, it's an, it's, it's different. I can see why it's in the book. It's very pleasant. Uh, it is not, it's not cloying and it's not sweet and it's not acrid and it's not licorice. That's very important as well. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, go try this fruity red Belgian style crisp beer. Uh, like, comment, subscribe and see you for another beer review very, very soon.